What is up my friends? It's been a while since I did my last video, but I'm back now. Uh, I just finished my studies two months ago, uh, finished my uh, physiotherapy program with a bachelor's degree and yeah, I'm currently in the process of setting up my online PT business, so this is supposed to launch soon, I'm gonna let you all know. But uh, for now I thought I'm just gonna um, put out some, some more content on my YouTube channel again. Um, because I just received my uh, Reflex order, so Reflex is my sponsor um, where I get all my supplements and uh, I just thought okay I'm gonna show you all the supplements that I'm taking and not only me but for example also my parents and uh, their advice to all my uh, friends and clients and everybody um, why I'm taking them, what are the uh, effects and everything yeah I hope you're gonna enjoy this video I'm just gonna start, I got my, uh, got my order down here Let's see, so like this, so as I said it is not only for me, that's also a big part is for my parents as well because I got them to uh, hit the gym regularly, they go at least uh, once or twice, sometimes three times a week, um, it's very important for people, the older you get, that you um, train your muscles because your body naturally tends to lose uh, muscle strength and muscle function and in order to um, prevent this and uh, retain a high quality of life you need to train and also you need to take in adequate amounts of uh, protein so the older you get the more resistance your body gets to protein so it's even more important um, as you age that um, you take in sufficient amounts of protein and um, actually because your body gets um, kind of protein resistant the optimal strategy is to take higher amounts of protein um, less frequent so two or three protein feedings a day with higher amounts um, is more optimal than let's say five or six small feedings there's just a side note two reflex 2.2 liter uh, gym jugs Every time during my training, I drink my BCAs and I kill a whole of those. Then I got two boxes of the new protein bars, coconut papaya and uh, cacao orange. Um, actually, I already snacked, tried them. They're pretty decent, though I wouldn't call them a protein bar. But I like protein bars as a replacement for other sweets or snacks if you have like a craving, you want just something in between, maybe you haven't eaten um, anything in a while and you want to hit the gym, you don't want to eat anything like heavy and uh, a small protein bar might be handy and it's always better, especially if the ingredients are good, not all protein bars are the same, but if the ingredients are good, um, they are a better alternative than eating like a regular candy or some other processed stuff um, although you have to be aware that yeah most protein bars still it's it's not uh, as good as a whole food source because they are still processed there's still some sugar or some other ingredients in it but good alternative protein bars and then these are actually for my parents and for me a little bit but these are especially for me those are the reflex air bars Honestly, they are my favorite. They have the best ingredients of all the protein bars that I know out there. Uh, I don't want to like make too much advertise here. I'm just saying, if you go for protein bars, look at the ingredients. Not all protein bars are the same. There are huge differences. There are lots of protein bars with cheap um, protein sources um, like collagen, um, soy protein, all this kind of stuff um, instead of whey or milk protein, which are much better quality and then also there are lots of protein bars who have like vegetable oils in them, rapeseed oil, all the vegetable oils are really bad, very inflammatory. Um, then they have lots of ingredients, just look at the list, so the longer the list the more ingredients you have um, and also look at that they don't have too much added sugar, um, yeah these are just some general guidelines but just look at the ingredients, so all protein bars are the same but these are protein powder, natural way, so again 
This is for my parents. They drink a whey protein shake every morning. They mix a banana with some milk and two scoops of protein powder. Actually, I just ordered um, also creatine for them, so they're gonna um, add some creatine, 10 grams, so five grams each. Um, they like this one because it tastes very natural, not a strong taste. I personally, I prefer like the the flavor with some peanut butter is my favorite, coconut and stuff, but it's just vanilla whey. I said, the older you get, the more protein is important, and whey protein is the best protein source in general. I think whey protein shouldn't be considered a supplement. Everybody should have uh, whey protein at home. It's just um, convenient for like different um, reasons, for ethical reasons or whatever. Like You don't always want to eat meat or uh, dairy sources, eggs, whatever. This protein powder is a very pure protein source so if you don't want to eat for example let's say eggs or which have a lot of fat and calories in general because they have other uh, nutrients as well then it just comes in handy it takes a minute you don't have to prepare it cook it whey protein way to go let's just put this lid up here. next up Reflex Next Gen Pro multivitamin. Generally speaking, I don't say, I don't think multivitamins are required. If your nutrition is good, if you eat a variety of, um, of fruits, uh, if you eat some berries, if you eat a banana here and there, apple, if you eat lots of vegetables and not always the same vegetables, not only broccoli and spinach or whatever, but a variety of different colors. Um, if you have, if you have like carb sources that contain nutrients if you don't I mean I'm a fan of white rice but it doesn't contain a lot of nutrients if you eat some oats if you eat sweet potatoes potatoes so if your nutrition is good you eat some fish I don't think you need multivitamins but for example if you're on diet if you don't eat so like as much if you don't want to like worry about it or if you I mean you have to make sure that you eat like all these these foods every day if you just want to um, like be a little bit more relaxed, multivitamin might be handy and I ordered these uh, particularly for my time, upcoming time in uh, California where I know where vegetables and everything is pretty expensive and I know yeah I'm gonna eat out with friends and uh, my nutrition won't be as good as it is here today so just to be safe I will take these. Again quality matters, I'm convinced of the quality of these multivitamins, there are lots of multivitamins just, just like thousand things, a little bit here, a little bit there, but so just make sure you take a good one. Zinc matrix, zinc matrix, zinc matrix. So this is magnesium, zinc, vitamin B6, and there's actually also a proper boron in it, but especially so, this is a staple. What I recommend to everybody is supplementing with zinc and magnesium. Research has shown, like, numerous times that majority of the population has a um, deficiency in magnesium and zinc. If you want, go to the doctor, check your blood levels. Um, otherwise, I think, especially if you're active, you cannot like overdose magnesium. Right? So it's just safe to supplement it, take it before bed. It's gonna improve your sleep. It's good for your hormones, good for your body, good for your immune system. So magnesium, for example, is involved in like 300 more than 300 um, like chemical processes in the body. It's also for your bone density, for your heart, it lowers blood pressure, relaxes the muscle, um, it's, good. it's for muscle contraction. So these uh, minerals, um, they have a lot of important uh, functions in the body and uh, most people, especially if your diet is not on point, won't get adequate amounts and even if you get them from food, for example like legumes and uh, other foods. They have a lot of anti-nutrients, they are called, um, which prevent the absorption or like the impair the absorption of these nutrients. So um, yeah, it's not the same from food. If you want to go sure, make a blood test, check it, otherwise supplement it. Zinc, magnesium before you go to sleep. Essential. Also my parents take it. Zinc matrix, zinc matrix. All the same, it's a lot, because I'm going to California next month for three months and I'm gonna take a lot with me and the rest from my parents. Then, I'll be a different one. So, this is 
This, these are omega 3s. There are mixed opinions about it. Um, they've been shown to protect from heart disease. Then again, they do not show to protect you from heart disease or anything. Anyways, they have a lot of functions, so they improve your insulin sensitivity. Um, they, are, they are definitely important. They are anti inflammatory. Um, the relationship between omega 6s and omega 3s is, um, is critical because omega 6s, which you get from vegetable oils or uh, vegetable fat sources, um, they are pro inflammatory. And though they are both essential, but it's about the relationship. An optimal relationship is something like 3 or 5 to 1 um, omega 6s to omega 3s. And um, research has shown that in like the modern culture, the relationship is screwed. So it's much more, it's, it's something between like 20 to 30 to one. So um, I always recommend people to eat fatty fish, like at least twice or three times a week, which is also like, a, like the standard recommendation to eat this. But still on top, I supplement with like three grams every day. And on the days that I eat fatty fish, like wild caught salmon is the best, obviously, but there are lots of other sources, um, tuna, anything. I do not take them. That's as easy as it is. Uh, omega 3, the rest here, that's all vitamin D3. And I cannot under uh, estimate, no, under, um, no, I cannot overemphasize the importance of vitamin D. Honestly guys, this is probably one of the most or the most important um, vitamins or supplements that you can take for your general health. Vitamin D plays a role in for so many things and again this is clear that nearly everybody in the population has a deficiency in vitamin D or like maybe not a deficiency but is in the lower range um, at least like no, you want to be in the higher range between like 70 75 to 90 um, what is it millimole per liter or something I don't know the, um, the unit but um, most people are in the low range or have a deficiency in order to get like sufficient amount of or for your body to produce sufficient amount of vitamin D you need to be exposed to sunlight every day for 30 minutes completely naked. So already sunblock um, level 5 or higher blocks all vitamin D. You don't get it uh, through windows, through car windows, anything. And you also don't get it if you wear your clothing. And uh, yeah, so that is the thing. And even if you get it one day, what about the next day? You're not going to lay in the sun every day for 30 minutes naked. So it costs nearly nothing. Just take it. If, you, if you've never taken it before, okay, if you want to do it optimal, you go to the doctor, get a blood test, test your, um, your vitamin D levels, and then you go online, you find a lot of calculators how to um, like load up on vitamin D uh, according to your, or like depending on your body weight and your uh, initial baseline levels, and uh, then you put in the optimal range that you want to be in, as I said over 75, 75 to 80, 85, that's the optimal range. So the upper, upper end of the, the, the like the um, reference range. And, uh, and then it will give you a loading protocol and then a maintenance dose. If you don't do this, I did it myself, if you don't do this, um, I just like, as a general guide, I recommend you to take around like 20,000 IU um, per day for a week. Or you could do something like 50,000 maybe for 10 days or um, two weeks and then go to a maintenance dose of around seven, eight, nine thousand units per day. So for example, I also sometimes I also take the body and fit ones, they are 3,000 um, IU per, per capsule. So those I usually take three, maybe sometimes, sometimes during this, the summer if I'm really out and I don't wear some uh, protection, I, I go down to like two capsules or one capsule, but usually I take three capsules and of those, those are 2,000 IU. I take four capsules every day and my parents as well, again. And you gotta make sure because vitamin D is um, a fat soluble vitamin, so you need to take it with um, a fatty or uh, a fat source. It doesn't need to be a lot, but you need to have some fat. So oftentimes these capsules come with some fat source, omega 3, vitamin D um, combination is uh, pretty common. I recommend you either take it with your fish oil, 3 grams of fish oil together with the vitamin D, or with, the, with 
any meal that contains some fat, like as I said, said like three, four, five grams of fat should be sufficient and take it every day, every day. One, two, three, more, 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 more. So, that is my order here. To sum it up for you guys, the essential supplements that I recommend to everybody. So, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D you want to take with this fat source anywhere during the day, zinc, magnesium before bed, you want to take uh, enough protein, optimal, like take protein, whey protein powder, omega 3s, 3 capsules of 3 milligrams a day. Also, the, what is important is the DHA EPA ratio. So, standard is like for one gram of uh, fish oil, you get like 300 milligrams of these uh, EPA DHA. Um, some, some fish oils are higher dose or higher potency, so they have like 500, 600. If you take those, you can go down to like two capsules or something a day. Um, and again, also for fish oil, quality is important because like low quality um, omega-3 supplements, they oftentimes contain a lot of... Um, um, they are contaminated with some stuff. It's the same as with like the fish and the cans and stuff. Um, the tuna and the cans, which is often like contaminated with some stuff. Anyways, make sure that you get like a high quality um, fish oil supplement. Um, creatine is another one. It's been proven, it's effective, it's safe, it costs nothing. For a while I used to be on the trip like, yeah, I don't need creatine because I eat a lot of beef and a lot of meat and if you do this, yeah, you get it. But then again, you eat, for, to get like five grams of uh, creatine, you need to eat more than a kilo or something a day and I, I don't do this. So it's just cheap, easy, convenient, supplemented. Um, and then like other supplements that I'm a fan of and then are not essential but that I recommend depending on your situation is glutamine. Glutamine is very good for regeneration, for, um, for the immune system, for your uh, um, uh, microbiota, so for your digestive system. It repairs the, the gut lining of your, yeah, of your gut. Um, it's a GABA precursor, it can help people with anxiety and um, people are stressed out. Um, so glutamine. You want to take 20 grams at least a day, so 10 grams post-workout, maybe 10 grams before bed on off days you can take like a few, a few grams in the morning, a few grams before bed. Um, and BCAAs or uh, even better essential amino acids, uh, EAAs and um, the way I take them is um, during my training, yeah, you don't need to, if you've been, if you, if you ate a meal before, yeah, you don't need to supplement um, with amino acids during training. If you haven't been eating for like three hours or something, and you're you're you want to hit the gym, you don't want to drink a shake or something before, then I um, I recommend taking them. I think they never do any harm. They can only benefit you or be neutral. Yeah, because during training you break down protein, and if you have protein or amino acids in your bloodstream your body um, needs to break down less protein. It's not about like you don't take them to build anything during training, but you just take it to decrease the amount of protein that your, that your body breaks down during training. Um, and like there are many other ways that you can use them. You can use them in between meals. So for example, if you're not eating for like a longer time, four or five hours, and maybe you ate like a, like a big meal for breakfast, you're not gonna eat then, yeah, so, um, taking like 10, 15 grams of essential amino acids or BCAAs in between uh, is a good strategy. Or um, especially for you, if you're vegan or vegetarian and uh, you don't need like a high quality protein source with your meal, um, what you can do is because for example for plant-based protein from quinoa, from legumes, from, from all this stuff, the, the quality of the protein is not high. They don't have enough um, of the BCAAs and especially not enough leucine to trigger muscle protein synthesis. So it's just instead of like taking double the amount or like three times the amount um, which you would need from a plant-based source, you just supplement with five grams of uh, 10 grams of BCAAs look that you get at least like three to five grams of leucine um, which is shown to uh, maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis and then yeah it's just it's just easy and convenient that's another way to use it all right guys uh, this video is already uh, way too long again I think I'm gonna split it up and uh, leave it just like this and uh, post my groceries in a separate video um, please guys leave me some feedback uh, comment below let me know if you think these videos are 
too long, I'm talking too much, just cut it down to the point. Or if you if you like uh, the um, the level of detail, I mean, yeah, you could always go into more detail with research and stuff. But that's not my style. But I also don't want to make like just superficial videos saying just like, oh yeah, I take this, I take this, I take this. Yeah. So uh, I want I want you to like know why I'm taking it, so you can make your own choices. But then again, I always recommend you guys, before you take something, still invest a few minutes, uh, look it up online. Examine.com is a great source for all kinds of supplements, anything out there, it's science-based. Um, if you want to get more info and uh, look it up yourself. So, leave me some feedback, please, I appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions, um, contact me. Follow me on Instagram, lift till big. Um, you can send me messages there or uh, yeah, drop your comments uh, below here on YouTube and uh, yeah, if you want to like it, maybe share it, we'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.